Bangladesh will head to polls tomorrow. The main opposition national party, the BNP, uh, has asked people in the South Asian nation to shun the polls and call a two-day strike nationwide. Now, this is the second boycott by the party in the three elections. The party says the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League is trying to legitimize a sham vote to gain a fourth straight term. Now, several security officials will guard polling booths on Sunday, while some of the armed forces have fanned out nationwide to help maintain peace. My colleague Saurabh reports from Dhaka and he spoke to polling workers there as well, uh, as well ahead of the elections. Listen in. Bangladesh prepares for its general elections. Polling officers, security forces are being deployed across the country. And of course, you can see this is one such place from where people who have been deployed for election duty are being dispatched to several voting centers now this of course is also security forces ansar this is dhaka you can see of course the dhaka newly dha built dhaka metro in the background there <coughs> and here of course there are announcements being made for security uh, forces and polling officers to go to different places where they've been deployed for duty this is of course right ahead of elections as people go and secure these areas where polling will take place. There is, of course, a fear of a security, especially after the incident of the Binapol Express being set on fire just before the elections. And four people have died in that, and we've reported from there as well. But here you can see security and polling, uh, you know, officials are being now sent to the various centers of counting, of voting, where they will, of course, perform their duties as the election gets underway on Sunday. The election ends at 4 p.m. and then, of course, counting will start immediately. But before that, preparations with security and polling officers here in Dhaka ahead of the elections in Bangladesh. The general elections taking place on Sunday, the 7th of January.